Yeah, bro, Martin, please help me put this in the car. Thank you. Aha! The man I'm waiting for. James. Listen, listen. You're a fool here than that. You're getting on my nerves. I can't put up with it any longer. What is wrong with you, James? You. You are my problem. That I refuse your idea of falsifying the amount raised in the Thanksgiving service. Is that my wrong? See, Daddy Gio is coming. And he's coming for the account. Gabriel wants us to bring out some cash. And I said I'm not involved. I can't do it. Listen, you said that for the umpteenth time. But we're asking that you play along. Let's make some extra cash. By lying? If you put it, just to put it that way. God forbid! Oh, have you forgotten he made me the treasure of this church out of trust? You, you want me to betray his trust? You're not the first! You're not the first, Alex! You're not the first! Listen to me, James. Listen and listen good. Okay. I am not going to do it. And I will never do it! James! That's not, come on! I can't do this. You have to bend to your will, though. Or I will deal with you. You can't do that! Ah! Only please, let's go. Let's go. I don't need nothing for an answer to the question I have for you. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. I said I don't need that word! Why did you shout Jesus when you noticed I was watching? <laughs> you are disobeying me! And I need clear answers, Nancy! I need you to tell me the truth. Caesar, my best friend. What makes you think I can hide the truth from you? Then tell me who is responsible for this pregnancy. What convention do you have I'm pregnant? Isn't it obvious? Your looks have changed. You vomited tried in school yesterday. Yes, I saw you. I followed you all the times you went to the toilet while lessons were going on. Yes. Susan. Mm -hmm. Right then, you better start speaking because eyebrows are beginning to get raised So. What? Yeah. You mean I'm suspected? My dear, almost half the girls in our class are attempting that you're pregnant. So I think you should better tell us who is responsible for it. Yes. Jesus! 
Jesus. What did he do to you? What sort of makeup is this? Are you what kind of question is that? <laughs> Where are you going to if I may ask? Okay. Pastor, does this answer your question? Are you serious right now? Quick. You want to tell me you're going to a Bible study looking like this? How am I looking? I am just a pastor's wife. I'm not a pastor. Get it? But see, so many women are looking up to you. They, they, you need to show them good example. And I never asked anyone to look up to me. I need to dress fashionably. See, we agreed you are going to change when we get married. Agreement indeed. My brother, eh? those things we discussed were just one of those love talks. And right now, I have to live my life the way I want it. Come on. Pastor, let's go to a Bible study. We're running late. On my way. Join well, me. Honey, you're not walking out on me. Join me. You don't walk out on me, honey. Come on. You can't walk out on me looking like that, honey. Brother, I said I needed us to talk. I understand the fact that this might not be the right time for That's me. exactly the point. Please, I'm not in my right frame of mind. Is that why you are leaving the house? I mean your own house? Oh, brother. For how long will you continue to be like this? Michael, please. I want to be alone. That's why I'm leaving the house. Yes, you're my pastor, right. But you're also my elder brother and you owe me attention. I can't give it to you. Please, I have a lot going on in my head. I'm amazed at you. I am so amazed that you've changed. Everything about you has changed. I'm even sure you're not going to be in Bible study. Michael! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I need time to think. Please. you get tired? Are you not tired of all this painting and painting? Are you not tired? I hope this my makeup is not taking sleep away from you. See, okay, let's not quarrel. What is it you wanted us to talk about? What is it? Pastor, have you not uh, heard that uh, Nancy is pregnant? What? Which Nancy? Uh, how many Nancy's do you know? Hmm. Senior pastor's sister now. She's pregnant. See, you better watch what you say. Be careful. The pregnancy is even up to three months. Okay, you don't believe it because she's a good girl. See, I wish I, I don't want to hold this conversation with you. It's over. Please. Wait, wait, Pastor, wait. I hope you're not going to ask uh, Pastor Gabriel about what I just told you. Why won't you walk away? My fellow women will be very happy. Nancy is the good girl. Nancy is the well-behaved girl. No, but no other person is good in the church. And who is pregnant? Mrs. James. Abby? God, you know how to vindicate your own people. And you have done it again. Think living the drink will make me throw it away. I'm joining all. Look at it. It's only me they see in that church. I'm the, I'm the bad woman. Honestly, I am not satisfied with your response. And I wonder what next you want me to tell you. The reason why Pastor James was barking at you like that. And I've told you severally that it's nothing for you to worry about. And you expect me to believe you just like that. Tony, do you want us to start talking about this all over again? Please, I don't have time. I have to leave now. Where are you going? I'll tell you when I get back. Brother, brother, brother. What is it, my friend? I'm sorry for disturbing you, but there's something I want to ask. Michael, I see you don't understand timing and moods. I, I know you are hurrying up to somewhere. 
But what I want us to talk about is very important. And we need to talk. Please. About... Should I go back to the village? I beg your pardon? I'm sorry. But just tell me to go back to the village and stay with Mama. Michael, are you insane or something? It's not as though I am mad. But I'm bothered by your recent changed behavior. It's no longer my own elder brother I used to know. Everything about you has changed. Brother, what are you hiding? Michael, you will not understand. You don't understand what is going on with my life. That is because you have chosen to keep everything secret. You can't even confide in your own wife. Please keep my wife out of this picture. You're too young to know what is going on with my life. Please, just let me carry this myself. Please, I'll see you. Brother, I'm scared something might go wrong. Mike! Mike! Brother! Susan? Susan? You're not dressed up for school? I don't want to go to school today. Why? Nothing serious. I don't just feel like being in school today. I wonder why people take pleasure in telling lies. Lies! Do you always get into matters of invited? Huh? See, Susan, don't insult me. Don't try it. As for me, I'd rather sleep than waste my precious time in exchange of words with you. Look at this girl. See, Susan, if you try me in this house, eh, I will deal with you to the extent that my husband cannot cough. He will not cough in this house. Fool. I shall star. You what? They are reading Bible. Who are they deceiving? <laughs> Sister, mind the words you use. This is a pastor's house. Words are not used that we will. Uh, but I just told her who she is. Oh, have you not heard the recent gist of Nancy? Uh, that's not my business. So go look for your business and concentrate on it. Go to school. That's where you belong. Do you know your husband, Pastor James? He's my husband. You're my elder sister, yes. But I think he made a very big mistake getting married to you. Hey, who? The man in this school, though, hypocrites. All of you in this house are the same, oh. Nancy's own has shown up. Your own was so sure. This one is lying today that she won't go to school. Who knows what she has gone there to do? My, 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 my husband made mistake. And you're in this house eating my food. Eating the food of a mistake. Okay. Daddy Gio. Yes, my pastor. I still don't understand why you chose to visit us unannounced. I, I thought we were to render account for the harvest. My pastor, just wait for a moment and you will all fully understand. So let's see. Daddy Gio, here she is. Nancy, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. Nancy, you're welcome. Nancy, what am I hearing? Please tell us what transpired between you and your pastor. Me? Yes. No, me. He's my brother's friend. Hmm. Will Pode ask you the relationship I have with him? Speak! Go straight to the point. Go straight to the point. Just. Tell us what transfer between both of you. Pastor.
So Alex told my brother to ask me to prepare him some food and bring to his office the day that his wife went to the village. Which are your paid? What happened in the office? <laughs> my dear, see, this is not a matter of tears. What, what did he do when he saw you? What happened? Nobody was in church that day. He took me to his office, collected the food from me, kept it on it without opening it. Nancy! Oh, Alice! Allow her to speak! Gabriel, calm down. Don't go ahead, intimidate Nancy. her with this young talk. Calm down, yeah, Gabriel. Yeah. Let me hear. Nancy, go ahead. He told me how much he loves me. That some teen girls in the church like me gives him joy. Me? Yes, father, what happened? Nancy. Speak, my dear. This is not a matter of tears. Is that all? He said he wants me to be close to him. How much he wants that. Hmm. Then he went for that to lock the door of his office. And did what? He said I caressed my breast. Ah. No. No. Ah. The pastor of the church. Finally raps me. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. You! Yes, the Jew is not true, she's lying! Why? Hey, Nancy, you know you're lying! You, Alice! That's not true! You, Alice! You! Oh, that is you! That is you! You know I can do this! I'll find out I didn't do it! I will take my decision! That is you! I can't! I didn't do it! It's okay! You cannot go! Can, can you say that's not true! Ah, that's not true! Alex! Hey, Alex! Why are you going to do this to me? It's not Alex. true! You know it's not true! You. Ah, I'm surprised. I wonder why Nancy left before school dismissal. Yeah, something tells me there's a problem somewhere. So I feel in my inside too. For her brother to even come to pick her. I'm truly scared. So why won't you be? You refuse to go and stop. I have told you severally that I don't want to hear that thing again. But you can never have the peace that you Charles! For crying out loud, we are talking about Nancy here and not what transpired in the past. All boys down to the same thing. You know what? I don't. Good. When we get to that junction there, I am taking the left turn. And mind you, no group reading for us today. <laughs> Why? Because I want to be left alone. Michael! Mike! Mike! What's wrong with you now? Mike! Mike! Pastor Alex, based on our discussions here and what transpired between you and Nancy, I wish to inform you that you are hereby relieved of your duty as the youth pastor of this church. The Gio. Keep quiet, Alice. He is still talking. You have to vacate your personage before nightfall. The Gio, that would be too harsh on us. You know we don't have anywhere else to go. Please. That's to show you how hurtful and disastrous of those your secret sin is to us. And you are living empty-handed. Oh, the Gio, please. Don't you think we need time to investigate on this investigate issue? There is absolutely nothing to investigate. The poor girl couldn't have accused you. My decision stands. You have to ensure things that Pastor Alex packets that is himself please. before this night. Yes, sir. I have spoken. Daddy, please don't subject it to this disgrace.
you go and inform his wife about the resolution of this meeting? Uh, uh, please, mind you, do not mention the name of my sister. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm it's so sorry right. I kept it's you waiting okay. right. for even me. Um, I hope everything is okay. In, in all honesty, no, no. <sighs> sir, what's, what's the problem? Is everything okay? Calm, How is my husband? Calm, calm down, calm down. Calm down. He, he, so he just rushed out of the house today. I, 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 is my, is my down, husband okay? Calm down, calm down. There's no need mixing words. Um, you are asked to vacate the personage before nightfall. I don't get you. We are asked to vacate the personage. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Your husband caught an 18 year old girl pregnant. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wish I were, but I'm not. This message is from Daddy Gio, and he expects you to comply immediately. The entire family. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'll take my leave now. Sorry. Uh, sir. Nagging, nagging, complaining. What is your problem? Oh, I'm talking to you quietly and you're walking out on me. What is your problem? I what said your sister it? will have to leave this house. Then your brother Charles will leave. Oh, okay. The insult she gets from me is not enough. I can no longer take her insolence. Listen, listen. As the man of the house, this is my final say. My sister will stay. Hey. When you have seen something, <laughs> let everyone listen. in this apartment hear my voice. Like when I start my madness, you know, not even Bob. I see you are not even ashamed. You are not even ashamed of this your attitude. See, this I'm the man of the house, and what I say is final. Man, you understand me? It is final. Watch me. It is final. Let her tell me the next final. time. Even you. It is final. I said even you. You it don't recognize your sister. You can't do nothing. Who wear eyeglass? I don't know if you have eye problem. Even in your house, you're wearing eyeglass. Even in your own house. You're not afraid. Open your eyes. You're a man. See, you're not afraid, she. Jesus, you have no right. You have no right to call on that name because you are nothing but a disgrace. Please let me explain. What do you have to explain? What do you have to explain, Alex? Your explanation should have come earlier before your secret sin came to light. Oh, you're life. concluding so soon, honey. Please sit down. Let's talk about this as man and wife. We should talk. Alex, we should talk. What is there to talk about? What is there to talk about? We have already been excommunicated from the household of faith. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm Alex, in please. Please. You can save whatever you're saying for whoever wants to hear it. Alex, please. As I step out of this personage, Alex, know that I am stepping out of your life Jesus. forever. Jesus, Sonia. Oh, Alex, please. I swear, whatever binds us together as man and wife is broken today. Please. Forever. Please, Sonia, please, honey. Please. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus! Jesus! 
Come here. And where are you going to? I'm going to see Pastor Alex. What? And what was my last instruction to you? I can't keep with anymore. I can't. The cute is haunting me. Because of the accusation, I labeled against him. It is too late to show remorse now. And the journey is about to start. Too late? Yes. But I'm tired. I am tired. I'm dying of this guilt. I am. I forbid you for going to confess to him. Nancy! Why are you doing this, brother? Why? Hasn't he suffered enough? Hell has broken loose on his life. I did not ask you as to whether he has suffered or not. You must not disobey your elder brother. An anointed of God. An anointed of God. Yes! An anointed of God. For any reason, no one could say. Conspired against his colleague. His fellow pastor. Nancy. His best friend. His best friend. Nancy! You are forcing me to tell a tale I vowed never to tell. I care less to listen. I care less, brother. What? What, brother? I must go. I must go to him to confess. Nancy! Nancy! Hello, Jack. Jack, where are you? Hello? Hello, Jack? Meet me in my house immediately. Yes, right there, right there. Oh, God. Oh, God, in heaven, what was my wrong? Why did you allow this disaster to befall me? Why? Why, oh Lord, why? Why? God, why? Why? Apologize? Tell me. Apologize? Pastor, I'm terribly sorry. Please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgiveness. People just hurt you and they expect you to forgive. After they must have ruined your life. I'm sorry. Please. Please. Get out. Get out of my life and never, never return again. Do you hear me? my life and never return. Do you hear me?
Oh, 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 to my father's house. What? This marriage is over. Ah, I don't understand. Okay. You're still here. I'm supposed to be ready by now. Yes, I'm, I'm almost. Excuse me, what is happening here? Pastor James, young man, this is not a time for questions. Relax. Why are we leaving the pastor? Somebody should talk to me now. Young man, this is not a time for questions. Relax, please. Uh, Auntie. Auntie. Please be fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen this face in this church before. I'm a murderer. Jesus! Jesus! Please. Please, I've gone through a lot already. So if you're here for a joke or to make mockery of me, please stop. Just stop, please. I guess that would be the very last word. I've been expecting that. Please, 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 I beg you, don't me. Please, I beg you. You see, you deserve more than that. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, God. Please, 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 I beg you. Please, I beg you. Please. I don't have a choice. I'm only here to do my job. What? what? No, 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 You insisted on not telling me what transpired in the past. I don't know why I, I have this feeling. This deep feeling to see my husband for the very last time. Thank you. Please, I want to beg you, don't leave my brother. We can't stay without you. Remember you vowed to stay with me for better, for worse. My please. Save me the sentence. And so you should also understand the fact that you are a pastor's wife. A pastor. A pastor that defiled the principles of the scriptures that he has always preached right before he married me. For the very last time, what did we do? Mike, you ask him when you see him.
Alex! No! Jesus no. Christ! Alex! Brother. Alex! Jesus Christ! Alex! Brother! Jesus Christ! Alex! Brother! Oh, God. Brother. Somebody help me! Please! Hold on, Dr. Ben! Get it to me, just! Pastor. What is it? Man of God. It's complete. <laughs> money. <man. Okay. laughs> this is money. So, when are you going to call me for another job? No other time. No other time. Listen, I am a pastor. When I get done with this, I will have to trace my way back to Christ. <laughs> I have. I'm a man of God. Uh, pastor, God, Pastor. How do you want me to eat if you go back to Christ? Uh, what? I am a pastor of a church for crying out loud. I'm not a murderer. I only contacted you for this job just to have my sin covered. I want you to understand that. I have been uh, wondering to ask you. What sin you must have committed that's prompted you into killing an anointing of God? Now, listen more. Listen very carefully. This wall have ears. They have ears. I'm sorry. Roger Pastor, I'm sorry. It's just that I, I said I was going to ask you about it when next we meet. That is not part of your job description. You have successfully carried out your job. You have to leave now. <laughs> okay, Pastor, no, we shouldn't end it like this. I said, go. <laughs> Don't forget, you might need me anytime soon, you know. Never. You never can tell. I am a pastor for crying out loud. You need to go now because I might have a guest. Please go. <sighs> go! <laughs> minutes ago, doctor, before. Doctor, what's the situation? He is dead. Yeah. What? No, no. Bam. 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 <laughs> Brother. 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 Bam. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Brother. Ah! Oh. Brother! No! It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Let me speak with you. It's okay. Let me speak with you. Let me please come back. Please. It's alright. Calm down. Calm down. Let me speak with you. Calm down. Hello? Yes. 
I'm um, one of my clients' uh, church. Can you please come with the ambulance straight away? Okay? Yes. Straight away. It's all right. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Let me speak with you. Just let him be. Please come. Come, come. never be forgiven. You can never be forgiven because he destroyed all my world as it is. I can't even touch her. It's a lie. Liar. You're the master plan of my death. It's a lie. I now know the truth. It's, what? it's a lie. No. I left Pastor Alex and the church some minutes ago. He can't be dead. No. I am telling you. No. No. Gabriel, what was my wrong? What was my wrong, Gabriel? He thinks I can just play my hands and watch him play my hands. You were my best friend. How could you? How could you? He got what he deserves. <laughs> he really got no. what he deserves.
mind your business from Pastor James. Jesus Christ! Who is Pastor James? Jesus! He's a social pastor! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! You had any issues with him? No! None that I can remember! But did not bore his name. Wait, God forbid! Oh, have you forgotten he made me the treasure of this church out of trust? You, you want me to betray his trust? You're not the first! You're not the first, Alex! You're not the first! Listen to me, James. Listen and listen good. Okay. I am not going to do it. And I will never do it! James! That's not, come on. I can't do this. You have to bend to your way, though. Or I will deal with you. You can't do it, man. Ah! Please, let's go. Let's go. When did this happen? <laughs> and your husband never told you anything about this issue? No, no, no. He only told me that it was nothing to worry about. <laughs> ah. Now he is dead and the note boy is named. But to think that it was this James. It was this James that brought news to me about his sin. Sin? What sin? This is Alex. I have something to tell you. To talk to you. <laughs> don't go alone. Don't don't go alone. Doctor. Yes. I have a tell I must say. I have a confession to make. A confession? That's him. He's the one that killed me. Wait, that's him. Hey, please go back, Pastor. Mike, go back. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> Brother Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, what did I do wrong? Calm down, Mike. What did I do to you, Gabriel? Let's go inside. Gabriel! That was the genesis of this whole disaster. I visited Pastor Alex's office that afternoon changed his life. Your words are hidden. Come on. Clearly, so that I will understand you. God. It's only God that knows the beginning and the end of a man's life. Doctor, honestly, if I had known the outcome of this on time, if I had known that this would result to this, 
I've not have accepted my brother's request. I've not, I've not, I've not, never. I still don't understand you. What exactly happened in his office? Come in. The door is open. Officer, that's the man. Young man, I am Detective Kelvin. Okay. I'm my colleague, Sergeant Evion. Okay. You are invited to the station for questioning about the mother of Pastor Alex. What? How, Alex? Mother? I don't understand, officer. Don't... If you can save your questions, save your pretense, when you get to the station, you will talk. Can we what? go? Why well, are we? I don't understand. Son here. Honey, what's the problem? I don't understand. What is the what, what do you need? I don't need to molest you because of your Sonia. Emotion. Please. Move it. Let's go. Okay, Kimberly. Please tell Charles to inform Pastor Gabriel. Tell him of this. Who did my brother offend that just to? Bend me back with them. Who? Oh. The same question I've been asking myself. Pastor Alex was such a nothing pastor. So humble. Who could have taken his life from him just because? I will never forgive that man that killed me. Such words I don't care. Calm down. I don't care, Pastor. I hate him. I hate him so much. Make me brother down. My head's back. My, I beg you to leave this place immediately. For drinking. Charles, thank God you are back. Is, is there a problem? My husband has just been arrested. What? Some officers just took him away some minutes before you came in. Oh my God. What's his offense? We don't know. Where are you going? Is it not the central police station they took him to? I don't know, but he said you should inform Pastor Gabriel about it. Okay, then I have to move on. God. Oh, please. Have mercy. Nancy. Nancy, please listen to me carefully. You hear me speak to you. What? Oh, please give me the grace to confess this sin so that this guilt can leave me alone. Nancy, 
please tell him everything and ask him to inform the DGO. Oh, Pastor Alex. Nancy. I wish he forgave me before he's dead. Nancy. Nancy. Yes, my dear. Please continue. Doctor, our both life changed from that moment. And that also marked the beginning of my woes. Did you in any way have any love affair with him? Doctor, don't judge me to hear the details of my story. Okay, lead me to the past. I got pregnant some time ago. I didn't want my brother to know because it was just him, the gatesman and I. This can't be true. You mean Pastor Alex slept with you? Doctor, please. Pastors are human just like you and I. Anyone can fall for the devil's snare. Anyone can fall into temptation. Let's not see them as angels. They're not. now hmm? your brother has killed my sister that's it i am more serious than a heart attack hmm? now, as i'm talking to you now he has mandated me that i must join i must join a certain stranger in disposing of his corpse so this is this is this is just come back now now no. I was still going to work for you. That was the same reason why I refused to get angry earlier. Will you shut up and get back to work? I did not call you on phone for you to come here to tell me nonsense. Get back to work. Oh, that pastor. Don't vex. Don't vex. You say my begin got stop now. Please get back to work. John. Forget the sound of your voices. Forget it. We will sort it out with God later. Please Sir. get back to it. No more words. God will ask us questions. Ha. He once told me that as a pastor, when you newly employed me to work here, I know, I know, John, I know. 
But you see, there are certain steps you take in life. And at the time, it becomes so difficult for you to fall back on it. God can still forgive us no matter how far we join in sin. Your actions can make me go back to the world. Will you shut up, John, and get back to work? Shut up! I am a pastor for crying out loud. Ooh. And I know God better than you do. Ooh. Please get back to work. Come, let's carry this man away from here now. What is wrong with you? You once told me some time ago about Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Where Paul said, shall we all continue in sin so that grace may abide? Oh! Oh! What can't it be this now? See, Uncle Pastor, we we'll don't get time for here. Oh. I'm not a person friend, we won't carry this mask. Hurry up. Sir, I can't continue. What? God. Please forgive me for compromising my faith in the first place. I lose my job, which was which was my initial fear. I may also lose my dreams of completing my university education, which was why I took this job in the first place. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the joy of my salvation. I don't want to lose the joy of my salvation. What is it? Jesus Christ. What is it, Dad? I'm talking to you. What is it? Why did you do that? Ah! Jesus Christ! What is wrong with you? What? This is what I do for you. Jesus Christ. Him. Why did you kill John? I heard him. I heard him making a call, telling someone about my death. Are you serious? I'm telling you. And I knew there was never a way we can seal his lips. Not even with me, us of Nera. Jesus. So what do we do now? What are we going to do now? Let's find a way to dispose of the two of them. And come, help me. Let's take them to the back of your car. My car? Yes, yes. Can I? Open the book. If you put open, you can fast. Can you be fast? She's very heavy. Is it your brother? You do what?
Trebuie Only to come and discover that the gate man went out. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for that. You are welcome. You are welcome. But be careful. The Lord is your strength. Uh, Brother Charles, yes, it's been a while you visited my house. Yes, sir. It's not a Pastor James has been arrested. Pastor James? What for? Please come, 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 come. Come in! Come in! and let me in so that I can explain to you. There's nothing to talk about. You, you stopped being my friend the moment you jacked my husband. Away for an offense, I don't even know if he committed it. He killed my husband. Your what? My husband. My husband is dead. He's dead. But he... I, and we found a note in his pocket that says that your husband killed him. <laughs> okay, you have to come in first. Come in, come in. my life if only you had explained to me the reason why my brother was excommunicated I wouldn't have ended up this way I 
good situation now. I came because you said you have something you want to show me. That's not true. I want to lead you to my life. No, God forbid. Charles, I have so many secrets. I want to unravel to you. Oh, I, I really need to go immediately. Okay. Please don't go listen to her. Charles, so many things have gone wrong. So many things. Nancy, I'm sorry. It's quite tempting for young people of opposite sex to be together in the same room. If you have anything to tell me, let's go to the sitting room where your brother no, can have an eye on us. please. No, not my brother. I don't want him to have, any, to, to have anything to do with what I, I'm going to tell you now. Then yes, forget it. God. Charles, listen to her so that you will live here a life. I'm sorry. See you tomorrow. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I've learned that Pastor Alex is dead. What are you talking about? Which Alex? Yes. Pastor Alex, you know, is dead. What? I don't have a hand in it. Wait. Wait. 
you, you mean you the reason why Pastor Alex is shouting? You come and listen to her. Charles, please listen. I, I have nothing to listen to. I've read it all. Charles, can you just stop ranting and listen? Listen. Where is Mike? Where is Mike? So I'll tell him everything. Everything. Where is Mike? That's it. <laughs> Just Mike is dead. your nerves. You don't mean it. I'm telling you. Jesus. <gasps> That's what happened. That's what happened. But I thought Mike would have told you. Mike. I haven't seen Mike here today. Uh -uh. He stormed out of the church. I thought he was coming to you. No, 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 no. no. He hasn't come here today, like I told you. I've not seen him. Huh? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you, are you sure? I think you need rest. I, I, hmm? I need Mike. I, please help me call Mike. I will do that. I will do that later. Hmm? Why is that so you need rest. Let me take you inside the room so that you can rest. No, no. Please, please, come on. Take it easy, easy, easy. Let's go. Let me do it. What a tale. It was as if I was under a spell. I couldn't believe myself. to leave now, okay? Pretend like nothing happened, okay? Just wait, wait, wait. But why are you doing this to your own brother? <laughs> Charles, please, you asked too many questions. No vaccine is not meant to be covered, no matter who is involved, okay? Please. Oh, brother Charles. Sir. How are you? Oh, fine, sir. Spending some time in my house. Uh, sir, I was supposed to be going to the station. But I will drop you. I will drop you down to the station. Okay? Yes. Good. Uh, please excuse me. I really want to discuss something. With you. Okay? I will be right back. That's okay. What's wrong with you? 
are you doing for this? Why? I owe you no explanation as to how I live my life, especially with my friend Alex. Your friend Alex. <laughs> but I'm shocked, I'm amazed at you. They still call you your friend. After all you did to him, tell me. But what was this wrong? What did he do to you that he chose to lie, to wipe off his life? Shut up! You saw your hands with much blood. I beg your pardon. That you don't understand. You never get it. I must put you soon as you are listening to me. Be warned. Who are you to bring judgment to my doorstep? Charles, ah, thank you, I wish you would just him even if he's once. Charles, Charles, all you need to do now is ask God for forgiveness and confess that which you know, please. Could Pastor Gabriel have truly been involved in all this? Charles, all this question we are asking is not necessary. Just go and confess to Daddy Jigo so that you will not end up the same way I did. Please. Charles. No. She's not to believe. It's how dreadful Charles. Charles. Dear friend, you are trapped inside this room. Nancy! There's only one thing that can save you, my dear friend. Charles! Nancy! Charles, please pray. Seek God's forgiveness. So that you will be forgiven from the sin you've committed. Nancy! And also be saved from the woes that have befallen us. I couldn't save Charles! Charles, pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Charles. Charles. Just pray. Please pray. Please, please, please. 
alright. Mm. No problem. You can go now. Indeed, we are cut out permanently from the mortal world. I have struggled all I could to make someone hear my voice, but but failed. It is time. Time to journey to the valley of death, where you all belong. No. No, no, no please, please give us more time. We, we, we just got here. Yes. It was just a day ago. Please, we beg you. A day is like a thousand years before the righteous one. No, please, please. Please have mercy on us. Please. Give us a second chance at yes. life, please. A second please. chance, please. Please, no. Heaven weeps that you miss your eternal blessing. Mm. Mm. Ah! Yeah, no, please! Ah! Ah! ah. expansion of the kingdom. I want a lot of souls. I want so many souls. Heaven weeps for your soul. Please. We all are guilty. But please have mercy on us. Forgive us, please. for sin, which is the coming of grace to mankind, was made once on the cross. And the message of God aspires at the judgment seat. Ah, hey. Oh, 
the good works on the earth. All the miracles and healings I perform. <laughs> Teachers of the world will be judged more strictly than it would have been better if you did not hear the word at all. Alice. I can't believe what you just told me. Are you aware that slander is a sin in the sight of God? Sir, who will I gain from slandering someone? I didn't say I was told. Pastor Gabriel is an adulterer. Stop! Are you aware we're talking about our senior pastor here? I know you will not believe me, but before you came, he has forced so many girls in the church, ingressing his bed, Jesus. even before his wife died. Girls like me meet him in his hotel room to, to have sex with him. Jesus Christ! This is too difficult to be true. This is unbelievable! I know. I'm just one of his victims here. I came to report myself to you because I was convicted by your sermon on holiness. Can you say this before him if I invite him tomorrow to my office? Uh, sir, I have a meeting with him now in his house. He usually invites us when his sister Nancy is away. Sir, you can follow me if you want to. So that you can say things for yourself. Please, sir. Are you serious? I am. Pastor Gabriel? Yes, sir. Jesus. You, you mean?
Pastor Gabriel. We are all alone in this house. So, uh, tell me what you have to tell me. Pastor Alex, you know that you are my best friend. I beg you in God's name to cover this sin for me. Gabriel, my hands are tied. Your hands are tied? Yes. What are you saying in essence? What I'm saying is that I'm going to report you to Daddy Gio. Daddy Gio? I am the senior pastor of this church for crying out loud. And you know that I will be dismissed if you do. You need to be punished. Alex. So that others can take caution. I have tried all I could to make you keep mute. That I refuse does not mean I hate you. Mm -hmm. Gabriel, you're my best friend. But adultery is an abominable sin in this church and I can't help you cover it. That means I will be subjected to the ridicule and the scorn of being suspended? Irreputable pastor like me? Discipline is one of those things that brings people back to Christ. Gabriel, when that girl came to me and confessed that you forced her to bed, she I... is not the first. Neither are you the only pastor that knows that I live in adultery. Pastor James knows. And he has never said that. I am not it. Pastor James! Alice! You know that! Maybe, maybe, maybe that's why God brought me here so that your sins will be exposed. Name your price. Pastor Alice? Name your price. I can give you any amount just to have your lips sealed. Oh, you. shut up! The church is suffering from immorality. Souls are perishing. Destiny is destroyed. All because of the head of the church, which is you. Uh, and who is Alice? Watch your words. Watch your words. I'm so sorry if I hurt you. But you must be disciplined. I can't see the hand right over there. Gabriel? What is happening? It is over. It is the moment of the world. You shall journey with them to the valley of death. <laughs> valley of death? No. I don't want to die again. I don't want to die again, please. She can never run away from us. I assure you. Please, let me go back to the wall and right my wrongs. Please, please, we need to. Let me try harder this time. I wish to join them too. I cannot go to hell after all my struggles for the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. I need to tell them. At least, at least these people, they need to know what we have done. Give us, give, give us more time. Please. 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 It is only when a man is alive that he can make the restitution. Okay. I have to join them. I have to join them. Run. No matter how far you try to run, you can never let stop. I have forgiven. 
giving you Nancy. Please open your eyes and talk to me. I never knew that I was just a step to the minister of my of my last day on earth. Please, Nancy, open your eyes so that I can tell you everything. I would have asked you out of the church when you came to apologize. Nancy. Wait, please wait. Wait, let me write my wrongs. Please wait! Please, please forgive me. It makes no difference. No matter how hard we try, we can never restitute our wrongs. It is good, you know. But you can never restitute your wrongs. Well, pity your nose. Please. please. Let us go back. Let, let the grace that we've preached find us. Please. please. The moment of grace is over. Please. If they were to be messy, would have been given to Alex, who for a simple mistake will miss eternity. Please do us be good so mercy. Please. That's okay. Heaven weeps. Man is inexcusable at the seat of Okay, let's. Okay, let's. Now that you know what sin I have committed, what's your next line of action? I should be asking you that. Are you going to report me to the church, bird? Of course. Your sin needs to be punished for others to learn. Am I the only one that has fallen prey to the sin of fornication? Even in this church? Not at all. But as relative to pastors that we are, we need to live a consecrated life to God. But we are humans. Like every other young person, we are putting on flesh, aren't we? Yes, my dear friend. But it is not our choice to be born into the families of priesthood. God did that for a purpose and we need to respect it. We need to live a distinct life from others, no matter what. But you can't expose my sins. Remember you said we are brothers, we are best of friends. So, so what are you saying? That I should cover your sin? That's what best friends and brothers do for themselves. Don't, don't, don't get me trapped. Don't get me trapped with those words. You know I love you as a friend. But any love that will keep mute over a sin that needs to be punished is worse than hate. Like this case. That means you enjoy sin may being punished, right? Not punishment. Discipline. So others could learn. I guess you wouldn't have lived to witness my crime if I hadn't donated two pints of blood to you when you were dying in the hospital. Two pints! I did that because I loved you. That's a sacrifice only few persons could make. But I, I, I never even had a second thought because I needed you to leave. What do I get in return? Hate. I do not hate you. Then I should say betrayal. But what are you saying? Cover my sin I, for me. I can't. I can't. We, we're pastors, brothers. Me, we, we're, we're decent people. I can't. No! Jesus! Jesus! 
Nancy. Nancy. I have to see Nancy. I have to see Nancy. Nancy. 